come by me yet. Oh, you're going. You're going to. All right. Easy. Well, they're all going to come by me. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Crossturners Bison. Welcome back to our channel. I'm gonna get the feed bin filled up today. It's been almost a year since I filled it up, so I gotta switch the ball hitch off my truck and get the pin hitch on, on here, and then I'm gonna get this thing out. I'm gonna take it to the neighbors, uh, the Hardens down the road, but I'm gonna take this down there because the semi truck that's coming from where I'm getting my feed from uh, the driveway to this property it's too tight for a semi truck to get in here with feed so i'm going to take it to the neighbors where they actually drive through and they actually fill their bins up i'm going to park it there and it's like maybe a mile down the road which is super convenient and I have really good neighbors so he's going to let me pull it down there the feed truck is going to come fill this up and then we're going to bring it back here so stay tuned thank you guys getting some feed and i know you guys are probably wondering well dusty why didn't you take this bin and get it filled up um, where i get feed from uh, i get a special blend of feed in davis oklahoma and you're probably wondering why didn't you take it over there well this is a big dude this is uh i'm not even sure how much it holds but i want to say it's maybe i'm getting six ton so uh you know we'll see how far that goes i think last year I got 11,000 pounds worth. Last year, what we did is I used this, I bought it used and I got it filled up and I used it to put out in our pasture to try to push some of our bison, our females, to try to get them to have babies earlier in the summer and early or late spring because I didn't want them having their babies in the middle of the summer here in Oklahoma because it gets very hot and I just didn't want to do that. I used that last summer, but the reason I didn't drive it over to Stillwater Millen, which is probably like 35, 30 minutes total to drive over there from the farm. I do have a 2,500 truck now. I've got a heavier truck than I did last year, but I just did not feel comfortable driving this sucker all the way over there and so slow with the weight. Uh, it just made me feel really uncomfortable because I've already been down that road once. And so I didn't like the feeling of it. And plus we, it's a hilly area where you have to get back to, to the farm. I called them up and, and they said they would deliver to me. And so because that area is too tight where our farm is, I had to come over here to the neighbors because they actually get feed right here in their feed bins. Uh, luckily good neighbors will let me come over here and use the space where the 18 wheeler can actually turn around or back up and has room to pull in. So. That's why I'm here. Just didn't feel comfortable driving it over there and back uh, with this much weight. And not saying my truck couldn't do it, it probably could. And the other thing is my wife and I actually had an accident where we were pulling this thing with my half ton truck, 
didn't go very well. It's pretty scary. An axle broke on here, and uh, that's the reason why. But um, I just didn't really like it. So that's why I'm doing this now. Feed truck's on his way, and I'm going to help him get this filled up, and then I'm going to take it a mile down the road back to the farm, and then we're going to set it up for the bison. Can they move up? I know. Last year I got 11. We're going to go da back down to the house. Uh, I'm going to park in the driveway and the semi truck is going to pull on the road and actually unload it from there. He thinks it's going to be a little bit too heavy as well. So if that doesn't tell you anything, the guy who delivers feed all the time says that this bin it's a huge bin it, it's 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 pretty big he said you're gonna have a tough time pulling it so i'm listening to the guy that does this for uh for a profession part of his job and i'm gonna pull over here on in the driveway and i've got to go maybe 200 yards so it's not very far nice guy um trying to help me out so here we go tempting to do it things up he got in so uh, <laughs> we're gonna fill it up here at the ranch so I like it now we know he's gonna pull down here oh that's where I'm gonna put I ah, see what he's doing he wants me to back up and that's where he's gonna fill it. I'm gonna go back down here Out here in our yearling slash calf lot i've got my calves they're calves but they're about to be yearlings uh, i've got a calf that was born in may and then two in june so and then noah's calf is in here so i'm pretty much going to start calling them yearlings because they're a year old uh pretty much when the summer starts and then i've got the new ones that i bought from peter cole up in missouri i want to be able to split this thing so that they can get some self-feeding and then I can got these bulls are pinned up right now away so I can back this up in here. Right. Eleanor's little bull. What are you doing, you knucklehead? So my plan is to back this up in here. I measured it's eight feet wide. Eight feet wide here. This is a 12-foot gate. Math doesn't line up. Yes, I know. But I, once I get it in here, I've got to do some figuring. I've got gates here that I could probably use to attach it so we don't have any issues. Got these bars here. I don't know. We'll play the first time. I'm going to split it and try to knock out um, two different herds. 
uh, with one feeder, so wish me luck. Okay, another change of plans. Shocking, I know, right? Going with the flow here. So I tried to split this lot and this lot here where the bulls are hanging out with this because the feed bunks are on each side. It just wasn't gonna work out, basically, and I didn't like it. I didn't wanna put a bunch of panels up and you're just raising the risk of bison getting, getting hurt. So what I did is this is actually a concrete pad here. Put this one here last year. I'm gonna put it in here with the bulls for now. So they've got a concrete surface to use. I'm gonna go ahead and raise these up just a little bit, see how much feed will come out and it'll be automatic. So the more that they eat, it'll come through there. See, that's the thing about bison guys is, you know, you can creep feed cattle and whatnot, but these bison are gonna have this self-choice feed. They don't overeat. That is a great thing about bison. You know, cattle, if they get into feed or too much alfalfa hay or something like that, they can eat too much and bloat. With this situation and this feed, the bison can control how much they're eating. They won't overdo it so that they don't get sick and swell up and die. So we don't have, hopefully don't have those issues. Last year, this is pretty successful for us doing this for my main herd. So I'm gonna raise these up. There's so much pressure built up in these actual bins where Eleanor's bull, he's always trying to get into stuff. I'm about to shut you out of here. But my point is, is these, these bins get tight because of all that weight and pressure. These can get really tricky to open, so I basically have to raise them up with a hammer. I'm just gonna open this half. I'm gonna open this half over here so that they can not fight over it and get access to it. And hopefully that goes well. So let's uh, break these apart real quick and get, I just probably want just maybe a half inch to an inch depth and then you'll see what I'm talking about. So that feed can start coming out here and every time that they eat it falls so that's pretty good right there but there's some feed so that they know it's here so i found that this is the easiest way to open it about an inch You can actually see it moving right here whenever I move that. So that's perfect. That's all it is. Every time I eat, pull it back, more fall down. So works perfect. It's time to let them in. I'll let these guys in here. Don't come by me yet. Oh, you're going. You're going to. All right. Easy. Well, they're all gonna come by me. They want out of here. You guys will be happy with that. Well, this will have to work for now. Um, at least we get, got the bulls, they're gonna be fed, so that's good. Um, the yearlings are kind of hanging out here. They're getting some of that good grass right now, so they're hitting it hard. So I've got to figure out, we'll just keep self-feeding uh, them for now, um, or we'll just keep hand-feeding these guys. When I say hand-feeding, we're not going out and feeding them by our hand. We're taking taking them buckets and, and, and feeding them that way. But um, these guys will, 
be able to eat um, whenever they want self choice free choice feeding and um, I gotta figure out in the meantime what I can do for them about automatic feeding so anyways thank you guys for watching uh, appreciate you guys adjusting with me on the fly sometimes you gotta make make adjustments and uh, try to do things the right way and try to do it safely which we've learned have learned from mistakes about um, using big equipment and uh, it's important to be safe first but um just uh doing some different things for the uh cross timbers bison herd by um feeding these guys and trying to get a meat side of things going so um and i hope you guys understand a little bit more about why we're doing this this is this is the best meat that you can get around it's the it's the best lean meat that you can get it's high in protein low in cholesterol low in fat less fat than chicken and it's good for you it's very good for you it's healthy and it's just tasty it's tasty i know it's hard and you're probably wondering you know why are you doing this to bison but this is why we actually have these animals is because of the meat that they provide they were worth taking and you know getting putting that effort out to save these animals and also they're just beautiful creatures that god created for us to look at and to have and to roam the great plains and to roam and uh, take care of the soil and take care of the environment by doing what they do and that they've done for hundreds of years so thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed to us follow us along raising the american bison you can follow us on instagram follow us on facebook stay tuned guys Good to see you guys. Thank you.